All right, EJ, thank you so much for joining us, talking a little bit about the 2020 NBA draft. Obviously, the summer is a little bit different, no workouts, no combine yet. How are you kind of preparing for the draft in terms of working out on your own and then meeting with teams virtually this time around? Um, I'm preparing by just, you know, just uh, go twice a day, every day, just wait in the morning and just, you know, in the gym in the afternoon and just, you know, just trying to stay active the most, most as I can with this pandemic going on, just waiting things out. You know, 6'10 forward, just finished your second season at Kentucky. Um, definitely took on a little bit bigger of a role this year. Where do you feel like you made the biggest strides as a player from this year compared to your freshman year? Um, just, you know, learning the game more, just on the defensive end, just running up my game, just going up there, trying to fight, get rebounds, and just be that glue guy for the team. Do you feel like kind of being a glue guy and just doing a little bit of everything, is that something that's going to – you know, transition the quickest at the next level, being able to do different things for a team? Um, yes, definitely. You know, that's the thing that's just been installed in me these last two years and just to go out there and fight for what I want. And obviously coming from Kentucky, you guys have, you know, five-star high school players, All-Americans every year. There's a lot of, a lot of you know, really talented players coming to the program and guys take on different roles. Do you feel like kind of there's stuff that you weren't able to showcase at Kentucky that you're really trying to show about yourself as you ready for the NBA? Like, hey, I was asked to do one thing here, but I'm capable of doing X, Y, and Z. Um, yes, definitely. And I came in, as like you said, we have a lot of five-star recruits. And came in as a guy that's a scorer. But um, I got to Kentucky, you know, we have plenty of scorers. So I just had to, you know, find my niche to get on the floor. So I just tried to go out there and just be that good guy and fight and get rebounds and things like that. So obviously – Speaking with the Hornets, you're obviously very familiar with P.J. Washington. He was a sophomore when you were a freshman. We talked to him all about this process, and, you know, we got his place similar positions. You know, does he kind of give you any feedback of what to expect when you get to the NBA? Um, he just tells me all the time is when I step out on the floor, just go out and try to, you know, dominate the person that I'm playing against and just to, do this to prove myself every time I step on the floor. Awesome. And wrapping up with this, obviously now we circle back looking at this Hornets team, took a little bit of a step back this year, developmental, a lot of young players, a lot of minutes to rookies, second year, third year guys. What do you know about this franchise? How do you see yourself potentially fitting in with them? Um, I know uh, you guys are a young core. You guys have a couple of Kentucky players and this, you know, I think I can fit in pretty well. I know a couple of guys on the team and some of them guys are Kentucky guys. So I feel like we kind of have the same background, just learning the game and things like that. And just, you know, they can, teach me some things and I can just come in and fit very well.